Hey Novi, your girls swim and dive team had their state meet at Oakland University this weekend. Diver Lorelai Mesano had a personal record, scoring 406 points and placing second place. Great job! The 400-yard freestyle relay swam great, but unfortunately did not make it to the finals. Overall, it was a good end to the season. Great job, girls! Wildcats, today we're here with Mr. Kane to ask about some of the project building plans. So currently we are in phase one, uh, which is a new office space. So we are currently sitting in one of the new office spaces that we had, that we opened last spring. Uh, they are working on the second office space, which is at the uh, 10 mile side, uh, which will be opening shortly. So they are doing the finishing touches on that. Um, and then they are also starting phase two, which is the athletic entrance. So if you come in by that entrance, there's been a fence put up and there they're going to tear down the old concession stand and, and it's going to be a beautiful new entrance into the stadium and into the building on, on that side as well. Okay. Um, do you know when some of these projects might finish? So uh, the 10 mile office um, should be finished uh, shortly. So um, maybe second semester at some point is what we're looking at. Um, the athletic entrance, um, that's supposed to be done and completed by the fall um, as, you know, sports will get going again for that athletic entrance. And so, um, and, and then eventually there is going to be a phase three. Um, and, and right now that's kind of wait and see as we don't have a lot of information on that. But that's more of the interior of the building and I'm not really sure when that's going to get started just yet. Okay. Um, and that's it for the project plans. What's up, Nova? Today I meet my faithful cameraman, Rodney. We are going to be interviewing teachers. I want their favorite Thanksgiving food. Let's hop right into it, fellas. Pumpkin pie, apple pie, really all of the pies. My grandmother's pumpkin pie, cheesy potatoes. Okay. Uh, definitely macaroni and cheese. Uh, my wife's cornbread casserole. Her Thanksgiving food is mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay. Thanksgiving food is pig corn. It's a Pennsylvania thing. Turkey and stuffing. Turkey. So I would say cheesy potatoes. My favorite Thanksgiving food is either green bean casserole or sweet potato casserole. Stuffing. Stuffing. Uh, sweet potatoes. Food. My favorite Thanksgiving food is cheesy potatoes. Mm -hmm. It's got to be turkey. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Pumpkin pie. Oh, that's a good one. Turkey. Turkey, okay. Hey Wildcats, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to let us know what your favorite part of Thanksgiving is. The holidays are here, and I thought I'd celebrate by asking Novi kids what their favorite Thanksgiving dessert is. I'm a big fan of cranberry sauce. I would say apple pie. Definitely pumpkin pie. Boba. My mom makes like a killer cake. It's just like some basic chocolate cake that she makes, but it, I don't know, it's just really good. Oh, dessert? A uh, cheesecake, I guess. The one with like the, the jam on top. I don't know. Strawberry? Yeah, 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 that one. Pumpkin pie. Thank you. Dessert? Ooh, I'm gonna say pumpkin pie. It's just a classic, I feel. Apple pie is also really good at the same time. Uh, top it off with some vanilla ice cream and you, you're set. Thank you to everyone we asked, and have a good Thanksgiving break, Wildcats. My name is Brooke. And my name is Sherry. And with the holidays just around the corner, we decided to review some Starbucks drinks for you guys. First off, we will be drinking the peppermint hot chocolate. Cheers. Um, it tastes like that one chocolate mint candy where it's like the chocolate and then the little green. Mm. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. It tastes like almost like a peppermint patty. I'm rating this a 8 out of 10. What do you rate it? Probably the same 8 out of 10. It's giving me chocolate. 
childhood vibes. Next up, we have the peppermint, peppermint mocha. mocha. Cheers. It's a little chocolatey, sweet-ish, but I like it. I'm rating this a eight and a half out of ten. I'm rating this seven. I like the hot chocolate. Next, we're gonna try the peppermint white chocolate mocha. <laughs> oh, this looks like milk. It's giving me a lot of milk vibes. I'm not tasting a peppermint <laughs> milk with a lot of sugar, is what I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For what it's called, I give it a 2 out of 10 because it's just not. I wouldn't drink it. I'm probably not gonna drink it again, like a 6 and a half. Next, we're trying the toasted white chocolate milk. I like it. I don't know why. So why is it just tasting like milk? It's just, I swear there's no coffee in this. I think they messed this one up because it's not supposed to be like milk. Mm -mm. I give this like a 1 out of 10. You're 1 out of 10. This is not what I ordered. <laughs> Next, we're trying the toasted white chocolate. Next, we're gonna be trying the caramel filet latte. Okay, it has coffee in it. It kind of tastes like baked caramel. If you've ever had sugar-free caramel, mm. this is what it tastes like. It's giving caramel syrup, not caramel. Four out of ten. Yeah, four out of ten. This is the peppermint white mocha. Cheers. Cheers. I like this one. I'm not really getting a coffee flavor though. Yeah, I personally like the regular really mocha more. I'm still getting milk. Like, it's really sweet. I rate this five out of ten. Five out of ten. This is the chestnut latte. The aftertaste is Bath and Body Works Christmas Lotion. I am not a fan. This is zero out of ten. For zero. So this, <laughs> this is the real toasted white chocolate mocha. The other one I think didn't have coffee now. Here we go. <laughs> See, this one tastes right. Everything else just tastes like milk. Tastes it wrong. I rate this one a nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. After trying all eight of our Starbucks drinks, the toasted white chocolate mocha was the best. you guys next time hope you enjoyed thanks for making cat's eye news your number one broadcast here at the high school we'll see you guys in december